All right, I also need to change this to match up. So select this and move it up. And then use straight on these edges and here as well. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course. Link is in the description. Let's continue. Let me move this to sharpen up a little bit. If you want it to be a little bit sharper here, you can also perhaps move these edges. What I would do is just use cut and then remove these. All right, so at this point, I'm just going to copy all these symmetry modifiers and put out a poly on top and I continue right here. Looks like we got this happening here. So what I would do is just delete that and then extrude that down and snap it right here and then weld. All right, so it looks like we've got this. And I'll just delete turbo smooth for now. All right, so now it looks like we need to bridge right here. So I'm going to scroll down here to get back to the slice. And I'm going to hold shift, left click, and then copy it. I'll make a backup of this just in case. At this point, I can just collapse this and paste those slice modifiers right back here to get this. And what I would also do is copy those symmetry modifiers as well. All right, so now I need to bridge this right here. Looks like now we need to get boolean happening right here because I think that's really the only way to get this and the boolean also subtracts this as well. So we need to ask ourselves what is a good amount of sides for a new cylinder. So definitely not 128 maybe something like 16 for example. 
make sure that's at zero. All right. Looks like it needs to be about Let's make it 32 sides to match up better. Looks like Pro Boolean has removed a lot of edges, so we're going to click on no edge removal here. All right, now we just have to clean this up by doing first, I'll just weld. even this out here. Now I can paste those inch modifiers back here. And in order to get rid of these distortions here, I can just make sure I have a loop going around here. going here as well. All 
right? So I don't quite know what's happening on the other side of this. So you can just kind of fill in the blanks here. But now all I really need to do is finish up this part right here. So we can just apply at a poly on top. And do some modeling. Looks like right here. So what I would do is just, let's say, delete one of these parts. And then symmetry. Regularize. All right, something like that. All right, so this way you can use creases to sharpen things up. That's just as simple as applying crease sets and stacking the right edges. And that's pretty much how you get this right here. Thank you for watching and take care.